Hi there, this is Miles from Light Harvest Solar. I just wanted to do a quick review on this Lion Energy Safari UT 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Um, we've been using this battery now for about a month and it's been exceptionally impressive. Let me just first go over a few things with you uh, that make it that way. First off, uh, the price is down a bit from the average, especially for the performance. Uh, $925 is what we're retailing this of uh, as of summer of 2019. It has an exceptionally good warranty, definitely the best warranty in the business. They're saying it's a lifetime warranty up to 3,500 cycles, which means uh, that could be every day for 10 years, could be every other day for 20 years, every third day for 30 years. Um, that's a pretty bold warranty. Hopefully, uh, they'll be able to back that up. And um, if they can, that's incredibly impressive. Uh, this particular battery has um, notched it up in the discharge rate land. And that is very important to me because it means you can run big stuff off of one battery. Uh, this battery has a 150 amp continuous discharge rate. That is particularly important because there's a lot of uh, stuff right around 1500 watts that's very useful. And um, most of these batteries have a continuous discharge rate of 100 amps, which means about 1200 watts, which means that um, you shouldn't really be running uh, 1500 watt devices like microwaves, coffee pots, toaster ovens, air conditioners, heaters, hair dryers, um, kettles, all kinds of things. Uh, electric skillets, all this stuff is super, super convenient to do with electricity, um, but uh, you need two batteries to do it generally with most of these other batteries. Uh, this battery, we've had really good luck doing incredibly big things off of one battery, including 1500 watt skillets, um, boiling water, uh, air conditioner we've been able to run pretty effectively. We've got a lot of solar coming in, uh, you know, maybe 12, 1300 watts, but nonetheless, um, we've, it's been able to handle the startup loads and uh, been a really good buffer to make the air conditioner work. It's pretty much uh, kept it going so far to the point where I have not got hot this summer yet. Um, the size and weight of it is really good. It's about the size of a Group 31. It only weighs 20 pounds, so that's basically industry leading right there. Uh, I went to the um, warehouse met the CEO and the uh, vice president and the engineer, went through their warehouse, uh, saw their operation, saw their inside this battery. It looks exceptionally high quality. It looks like it's got a very robust uh, battery management system. I was actually quite impressed with what I saw uh, pretty much um, down the line with this battery, which doesn't happen very often. I usually find some nits to pick, uh, but here they've been good all the way from the first call until now I haven't had any issues um, which is very rare and uh, it's, um, it's doing very good so uh, of course the quality is really quite nice you can see it's got a battery indicator light there uh, I'm really not pulling in or taking anything out the batteries are full uh, and the solar panels are pretty much turned off so we were able to get this battery um, pretty quickly and uh, easily. We put it into a mobile power station that we built and went camping in Moab and had uh, exceptional good luck. We also took it down to the Overland Expo West uh, and then into the Grand Canyon and things like that um, with a 345 watt Solaria panel, solar panel and um, it did exceptionally well there. Too. So let me do a couple quick uh, demonstrations for you. First things first, I'm going to do the air conditioning. And uh, like I said, I've got a lot of solar to back it up, but we're going to push this battery hard. Here goes the air conditioning. Okay, you can hear it fire up. There you go, there's the compressor. So I'm generating, and uh, this is about a 1500 watt. Com um, air conditioner and really it's only pulling about 50 amps out of it so you can see that's not really pushing it hard but it did um, push that compressor which sometimes can go up to a couple hundred amps here's a hair dryer right here that we've got and um, it's going to let, let's crank it up and see where we're at 
Okay, so there's 111 amps. That's on a high heat. Um, let's bring it down a little bit and then bring it up. Okay, so there's 120 amps. Um, and you can see that it's not incurring the low voltage alarm on the uh, inverter, which is really good. Let's see, I'm going to beat this up and see what happens. Let's get it to high on the hair dryer. Okay, so there's 200 amps out of that battery. It's still at 12.2 volts. 230 amps. 245 amps. 250. So that's way above what you're supposed to be doing with this, but that is absolutely incredible for a battery of 20 pounds. So we'll drop it back down. That's still well over what we should be doing. Okay, so it, that's now 125 amps, uh, which is really, really, really high for a battery that size. Um, and it should do it continuously, but let's just turn this off. There's a conditioner right at 80 amps. I'll just let that run for a minute. Point being is that this is a super impressive battery. It hasn't really given me any grief. The low voltage disconnects have worked well. The high voltage disconnect have worked well. I made a couple sparks upon installation and it didn't ruin the battery like some other batteries that I've tested. Um, it's done a really good job for the most part. So um, in our opinion, this is kind of the next industry standard. Like I said, we're offering this battery at 925 uh, free shipping. So if uh, you're interested, 503-501-7733, lightharvestsolar.com. Thanks so much.